Hey everybody, welcome to Sailing Tips. Today we're going to talk about how to tie a soft shackle into the end of an existing line. Stick around. One of the traditional ways of attaching a soft shackle to the end of an existing line is to uh, put a splice, uh, like a Brummel splice, in the end of the line and then uh, simply feed uh, the soft shackle through it, um, just like this. Um, but uh, sometimes what you get then is, is, a, is a bit more of a bulky solution than you want. Um, this is super strong, um, but it can be a little bit more complicated to tie and more than you need in some situations. This particular setup uh, with the splice uh, and the traditional soft shackle uh, made out of 3 16 or 5 millimeter Dyneema uh, can hold over two tons. Uh, but how often is it that you actually need to hold over two tons? Uh, what if uh, you only need to hold uh, one ton? On a boat, it's not often that you actually need the full line strength of a piece of Dyneema, uh, which is ridiculously strong in the first place. For example, I had a 42-foot monohull with a 700-square-foot number 1 Genoa that we flew in up to 20 knots of wind, and a 450-square-foot jib that we flew in up to 30 knots, and the Harkin calculator shows a maximum sheet load of just over three quarters of a ton. But our sheets with high-tech cores uh, had a breaking strength of more than five tons, so we were only using 15-20% to 20 of the braking load, even in fairly extreme circumstances. The technique I'm going to show you has a braking strength of about 50% of line strength, um, plus it's super easy to tie. Uh, so for, for lots and lots of applications, uh, the trade-off uh, might be worth it. Uh, for example, we use this particular technique for the uh, spinnaker sheets uh, on our F82R trimaran. After I show you how to make this knot, uh, we're going to strength test it and see uh, how it fails. Uh, we're going to use a 3 16 or 5 millimeter ram steel because it's uh, strong enough to have lots of uses on boats uh, under 40 feet and uh, we still have a fighting chance of uh, breaking it with uh, normal equipment. To make this knot, uh, we start with our uh, piece of ram steel in this particular case. Uh, we go back about uh, 8 inches or uh, 20 centimeters from the end of the line. We uh, push the line together to try and part the strands. Then we take uh, an awl or some other similar device and we try and create a way between the strands here. Now it's really important that we go through the middle of the line here uh, and you'll, you'll see why when we go to brake test this. Uh, but the awl isn't quite big enough so what we're going to do is we're going to pull the awl out and we're going to be crude here, stick a pen through or something like that uh, to make the hole a little bit bigger. And then we're going to take the tail end and just chase the pen through like that. And that's going to make uh, the noose of our shackle. Then what we do is we go ahead and tie a uh, just a double overhand knot in the end of this, like that, and we'll leave a little bit peeking out. So there you go. We've got our double hand, our double overhand knot. We've got our noose, and to use this, you simply put the double overhand knot through the noose and close it on itself. And there you've got a line uh, with an integral soft shackle. If you want, uh, you can create uh, a, you can put another piece of line on here to make it easier to release. Uh, like you can cow hitch a little string onto here or something. Now, before we go and use this, we'll want to make sure that we go ahead and grab this end with a pair of pliers or something and pull really hard on it in order to set this uh, stopper knot. We're going to test this shackle with a three ton hydraulic floor jack. Here you can see the shackle at the top with a round turn and four half hitches at the bottom. With a hydraulic jack, there is a direct correlation between the force on the handle and the lifting or braking force, which we can measure with a digital hand scale. Here you can see the knot moving upwards, uh, partly because the jack is pulling slack out of the round turn and four half hitches at the bottom, and partly because it's stressing the double overhand knot, which would eventually pull out at about 75% of line strength. Here we are at about 50% of line strength, or about a ton. You can see that knot is uh, starting to squirm here a bit. Um, lots of tension here. The noose broke by bursting through the side of the line 
and assuming you fed through the middle of the line, this is where the 50% uh, braking strength comes from. Uh, if you were off center slightly, the braking strength might be 40%, so you really want to be as accurate as possible when making this knot. You could also use a figure eight climber's knot if you don't like a double overhand knot, uh, but the braking strength and mechanism will be the same. We used a 3 16 uh, amp steel for this particular test, uh, but you could actually do it uh, with any line uh, that's got a high tech core. Um, this is 7 16 uh, MLX, and uh, here I've done the same thing uh, in the end here uh, after exposing the core. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to uh, expose and bury the core. Uh, lots of YouTube videos are out there uh, to do just that. I know this knot isn't uh, suitable for all applications, um, but it is certainly suitable for many applications uh, on a boat where you're only dealing with uh, 15 to 20 percent of the line breaking strength uh, anyways. A boat is a complex system where lots of pieces have to work together, and uh, so in many cases you'll find yourself uh, breaking something else, uh, ripping a sail, uh, or putting your mast in the water uh, before you break a, a high-tech Dyneema line. There's an old saying that uh, you don't uh, always have to run faster than the bear, uh, just faster than the slowest person, and in this particular case the Dyneema and the soft shackle is very rarely the slowest person. Many other bad things typically happen uh, before this knot fails. If you need the full strength of the line, uh, do a traditional splice uh, with a full soft shackle in the end. If you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, uh, leave any comments uh, in the comments section below, and uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.